Hi everyone, we started the day as if it was Diwali today, made another all-time high. But towards the end, it was very clear that there was a selling in the market today. Institutional data is not yet out, but I have a strong feeling that FIA sold a lot today. Today was a strange day. The markets were open, but it was a clearing holiday. What that means is if you bought something yesterday, you could not sell it in BTST, settle the trade or something today. Now, some of the traders like me probably were caught off guard. This declaration should have been given yesterday itself. Today is a critical day. US CPA data will be released. Now, tomorrow markets may open with a gap up or gap down based upon the US data. So in absence of this clarity, some traders may get badly caught, especially if the US data is too good or too bad. Overall, it was a day of non-ferrous metal stocks. Hindustan Zinc, Hindustan Copper, Vedanta, Hindalco, all these were up a lot. Hindustan Zinc and Hindustan Copper were nearly up 10% for the day. Battery stocks continued the rally. They are all cheered by the bullishness in auto right now. With crude firmly above 90, ethanol is back. Sugar stocks were up a lot today. Most of them hit 3, 4, 5% today. Gold and silver are both shining right now. I personally track gold more. Silver ETFs are available. They trade in silver futures. There is no GST on that also. If you prefer, you might want to take some positions in silver as well. Both of them are hovering towards lifetime highs. Among the heavyweights, Reliance, TCS, HDFC Bank, all three were down. ICICI has been up for last four days. I have mentioned earlier also, ICICI is stronger than HDFC in terms of performance right now. We are closing in on TCS's result on Friday. That will be kickoff of the quarterly and annual results. Big events coming up. Nifty started with a gap up, nearly touched 22, 750, went down a bit, went up, stayed up, and then gradually came down nearly towards the lowest point of the day. The range for Nifty is now redefined 22,600 to 22,800 till a big event happens on the up or down side. The VIX calmed down a bit by 2.2%. This is strange because overall market was down a lot. Let me take you through the index data. If you see the change column, not much was on the green side. ICICI Bank stood out, Infosys, Bajaj Finserv, Hindalco, Apollo Hospitals, Icher Motors. But mostly the gains were minuscule. The red bars were a lot bigger. Reliance, Titan, Ultratech, Asian Paints, Coal India, Wipro. BPCL, Tech, Mahindra. So the markets were a lot on the negative side compared to the positive side. This is what I was saying. Volumes also are thinning. Most of the stocks are trading somewhere around 50-60% kind of average volumes. Most of the stocks are very close to the 52-week highs, which is evident here. Distance from 52-week high is not very high. In fact, most of them also are pretty far off from 52-week lows, which demonstrates how much the index has moved in the last 52 weeks. Let me go to Bank Nifty. HDFC went nowhere. ICICI held its position. Rest all was a sea of red. Volumes were thin, low for most of the Bank Nifty stocks. Again, distance from 52-week high is very low for most stocks. Bandhan Bank is the only one which is a big underperformer right now. Far away from the 52-week high, very close to 52-week low. Next 50, again, a sea of reds, mostly red. Thin volumes. Most of the stocks in Nifty, next 50 also are very close to their 52 weeks high. PNG and Adani Wilmer are far off. SBI Cards is far off. Berger is far off. Adani Total is far off. LIC is far off. Let me take you to a very interesting view. I am working on this right now. This is the overall calendar. Let me bring on the gallery view. This is a new view I am trying to create. Today we have three important events in the US. 9th of April, US FOMC minutes will be released for the previous meeting. US crude oil inventories will be released. If the inventories are good, then usually crude corrects globally. If the inventories are low, then crude shoots up by 5 to 10 percent. US core CPI data for March will be released later today. Nifty weekly expiry is tomorrow, Wednesday, not on Thursday because Thursday is a holiday. TCS results come out on Friday. India's CPI data comes out on Friday as well. UK's GDP and manufacturing data will be released on Friday as well. I am personally expecting TCS results as well as the UK GDP data on Friday not to be that good. So Monday may be a bad day. For today, I am expecting US core CPI data to be bad, crude inventories to be fine, FOMC notes will be neutral, nothing special expected. My personal trading positions mostly in bank side, Canara, South Indian Union, Karnataka, JM Financial, IFL, REC, IT side persistent, that's an option trade which I am carrying, LNT technology, HAL, IDEA. 
all these are long trades i sold insan copper positions today and bought gmdc instead note all these are short term positions for trading purpose only few days maybe a week if markets fall a lot i'll book losses and come out the video i released yesterday got good response till now lot of people have liked the idea of highlighting the monopolies some people have already mentioned that they will be realigning their strategies with respect to the monopoly stocks i covered in the video do watch it if you haven't overall it was a day which sounded like a green day good day but from internal it was a hollow day it a lot of corrections happened market seem to be slightly entering the bearish zone right now especially with the global events the way they are panning out i am myself a little confused and undecided where to have my conviction on right now i'm still long but that may change tomorrow i'll watch out for the events in the us tonight thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow